Amadeus Mozart was an artist during the time of the Enlightenment. Born on January 27, 1756 in Salzburg, Austria, Mozart completed him a musical prodigy. He truly did follow in his father's footsteps, as Leopold was a composer and violinist himself. By the age of three, Mozart had mastered the piano and begun learning the harpsichord and violin. By age four, he was writing his own music. Mozart had even put on a concert when he was just six. Just like breathing, music came naturally to him. He's all of seven. How can a little mite of seven impress us? Come and sit on my lap, you little monkey. Come along. He's so tiny. Just like a doll. Play for the ladies, Wolfgang. Mozart performed with his sister Nonarol often as a child. By the time he was 10 years old, Mozart had toured Europe with his father and sister and performed for Louis XV at Versailles and King George III in London. Mozart's trips through Europe allowed him to meet a number of accomplished musicians and become familiar with their works. By age 16, Mozart had been appointed concertmaster in the orchestra of the Archbishop of Salzburg. Throughout this time as concertmaster, Mozart had composed some of his most sacred works, as he had the opportunity to compose symphonies, string quartets, sonatas, serenades, and a few operas. Mozart's ambition to become something bigger than a small concertmaster led him to get bored with this position, though. Mozart ended up taking a few years off to look for employment in various cities such as Mannheim, Paris, and Munich. He eventually found himself back in Salzburg as a court organist in 1778 due to financial difficulties and his mother's death. He used this time to produce a series of church works, including his extremely popular coronation mass. After the successful premiere in Munich of Mozart's opera, Adio Mino, Mozart was summoned to Vienna by his employer, the Archbishop. Still reeling himself back in after all the admiration in Munich, Mozart found himself offended when the Archbishop treated him merely as a servant and refused to let him perform for Count Espan. After two months of fights between Mozart and the Archbishop, Mozart made an attempt to resign and was refused. He was finally allowed to resign a month later only after the Archbishop got his sword to literally kick Mozart in the butt as he left, of course. Mozart then decided his time would be better served as a freelance performer and composer. Mozart quickly found work and soon establishing himself as the finest keyboard player in Vienna. Mozart had moved in with the Weber family during this time as they were accepting lodgers to make ends meet after their father's death. Mozart had developed an interest in the third Weber daughter, Constance. The relationship had not gone smoothly as the couple faced much disapproval from family members, particularly Mozart's father. The two finally married on August 4, 1782, though, one day before the letter of consent from Mozart's father came through. Wolfgang and Constance went on to have six children, but only two survived. By 1783, Mozart became enthralled with the work of Johannes Sebastian Bach and George Frederick Handel, resulting in several Baroque-style compositions and influencing much of his later compositions. Mozart quickly entered into a lavish way of living after his operas enjoyed immediate and continuing success. From 1782 to 1785, Mozart divided his time between self-produced concerts as soloists. The year 1784 was the most prolific in Mozart's performance life. Over the course of five weeks, he appeared in 22 concerts, including five he produced and performed as a soloist. The concerts were very well attended, as Mozart enjoyed a very unique connection with his audiences who were given the opportunity of witnessing the transformation and perfection of a major musical genre. By the mid-1780s, Mozart's extravagant lifestyle was beginning to take its toll. Mozart was falling into serious financial difficulties, as he had the idea that he should live like the aristocrats he associated himself with. Mozart struggled with his financial situation from the late 1780s until his death. The Austro-Turkish War led to a decline in the ability of aristocrats to support musicians, hence Mozart began performing less and his income declined. The final year of Mozart's life was quite productive, though. He produced his final opera, The Magic Flute, his final piano concerto, a clarinet concerto, the last of his great series of string quartets, and the unfinished Requiem K626. But by November 20th, 1791, Mozart had become so ill with swelling pain and vomiting that he was bedridden. After being nursed by his wife and sister-in-law, Mozart died at age 35 on December 5th, 1791. Mozart may have only lived a short life, but it was a life that will live on forever. Mozart's accomplishments throughout the Enlightenment did much to create the conditions that Beethoven and other Romantic era composers would later find essential to their artistic freedom. Thank you.